How is it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I've got for you is marquee matchups. Finally the first marquee matchups, week one marquee matchups of FIFA 19 has been released and we have the SBC here. I've gone ahead and completed it. Now I do want to throw this out there. This is not the cheapest method to complete marquee matchups. I actually just wanted to complete the uh, the SBC itself. This is the, the way that I did it. This is like sort of cheapest to me because I've got a bunch of untradeable players and bunch of players already in my club so this is the way that I didn't do it for a lot of coins. It cost me about 6,000 coins in total and for the Liverpool versus uh, Chelsea one. This is how I did it. Most of these players were already in my club, if not all of them were already in the club. So I'll go ahead and submit this one. Uh, I've got a couple of untradables here up top, um, so they don't really bother me. Same with Henderson. Henderson, Henderson is untradable too. Then uh, I just went with a uh, Japanese sort of backline and right mid, and I went with uh, a, I think this guy's called Bennett. Uh, Bennett and uh, and uh, James. Now I actually use Bennett for two different SUCs, so I have to go out and buy him in a second. Uh, however, the rest of that that one's complete. We get a, I think that's a, a mixed players pack, a rare mixed players pack. Is it maybe just a normal mixed players pack? That's just a normal mixed players pack. These rewards aren't the best rewards. We've seen a lot better for marquee matchups. However. It's nice to have them. So, the next one is Real Madrid versus Atletico. And uh, I actually completed this one using Athlet Atletico and Valencia players. Now, these two players here are untradeable. That's why I'm using them. Same with uh, with Gelson Martins. He is a first owner, I believe. Um, yes, he is. And the rest of these I just bought off the market. All of these uh, all of these uh, Valencia players. Just because it made it easier for me. Because um, I already had a bunch of Valencia players on my club. Like, like, like these two guys, for example. So... Uh, so we go ahead and complete that one. And we get what do we get for that? A jumbo gold pack. Eh, it's it's kind of meh. It's kind of meh. We'll go ahead and do the Rio Ave versus. Um, I have no idea who this is versus. For this one, we actually did need to go out and buy a Brazilian, uh, a Brazilian La Liga. Uh, what do you call it? A Brazilian La Liga centre back. And the reason that I uh, I don't have one there is because I was using Gabriel Pelista as a um, what's the word? As I guess a stepping stone. It's just a it's just a a holder. For a second. So uh, we'll go out and buy this guy. Uh, how much is this guy going for? There was a 1.5k there. We'll just buy that one. It doesn't really matter how much we pay for him. But Gabriel Pallista was there before as like a stepping stone. So go ahead and submit that. And for this one, we get a silver players pack. And we have the Feyenoord versus Vitesse one. And uh, this is the one where Be Bennett was at left mid um, as a stepping stone. So uh, we'll go ahead and get a left mid from England and the, uh, the second division. Uh, it's this one, right? I think this is the one. I hope this is the one. Is that it? Did he get a green link? He does. Yeah. We'll just get. We'll just get this guy. We'll just get this guy. Let's we'll go ahead and buy him. Please say you're less than a thousand coins. Oh my god, he's 1.1k. What am I doing? All right, we'll buy him anyway. Uh, and then that's marquee matchups completed. It's pretty damn easy. It wasn't a difficult week at all. Uh, we'll go ahead and submit that. And I think for all of this, we get a premium gold players pack, which obviously they're not the best rewards. However, I did want to make a video on this week's marquee matchups because because uh, it is week one marquee matchups. It's the first marquee matchups of FIFA 19. So I wanted to make a video on it. So we've got five packs waiting for us. We've got a silver players pack, a premium gold pack, a jumbo gold pack, a premium gold players pack, and a mixed players pack. We'll go ahead and open the silver players pack first, of course. Hopefully we can get something that's like useful here. If we get any silvers from popular leagues, I'm happy. Uh, any silvers with like I don't know. Just any, any silvers in general that are from popular nations or leagues are great for me because I will end up using them in SBCs for sure. Let's see what we're going to get from this one. So, uh, he's decent. I think he probably would sell for a little bit. Uh, he's also decent. Pa Parkhurst. Anyone from like the MLS. Obscure Leagues is decent as well. MLS, stuff like that for SBCs in the future. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. We got a few. We got a few. We got a few decent ones. Um, so uh, a marquee matchups to come. We'll probably use those uh, those players. We'll open the jumbo gold pack first before we go with the premium gold pack. Can we get something decent? Obviously, I'm not. I'm not expecting a walkout from a jumbo gold pack, really. Um, but it's going to be a goal player at least. It's going to be a centre back. Is it going to be Skirtle? It's going to be Skirtle. Kind of meh. Not amazing. Not bad though. Not amazing. Let me know down below if you did marquee matchups who you guys got. I'm expecting to see a bunch of like, oh, I got messy from marquee matchups and uh, and me to be very jealous. But let me know down below who you guys did get. All right. We'll go ahead and discard the rest of those guys. Uh, we've got a premium gold pack now. We'll go ahead and open that. I've actually had some decent stuff from premium gold packs. I'm not going to lie. I've had a couple of board drops from premium gold packs. So uh, they're not too bad. If we don't get a board drop this time. It's going to be a Colombian striker, Muriel. Yeah, it's a decent card, actually. I don't think he sells for anything, but it's a decent-looking card this year. He's got a pretty solid card. I don't know. I don't think he goes for anything. 
Uh, maybe like a thousand coins. Corner as well might sell it at some point when we get a French League SBC. You also get the Man United kit. We'll take that. Hell yeah. We'll take the Man United kit. We'll go ahead and, uh, and, and apply that and then we'll discard the rest. Okay. Now we've got the big plays, uh, the big pack. Sorry. We've got a mixed players pack. This is what they consider the, the best out, uh, out of all those rewards that we got, apart from obviously the, the premium gold players pack. And we don't even get a rare gold player. It's going to be Denisov, sadly. That's disappointing. I was hoping for at least a good player. I was hoping for at least a good player. But uh, we'll go ahead and store all these guys. Uh, obviously, we've got some usable players there uh, and some SBC in the near future, I'm guessing or hoping. And now for the premium gold player pack. No walkout. I'm not even expecting a board drop from this pack, truthfully. Uh, no board drop from the pack, sadly. It's going to be a center forward from Spain. Luis Alberto is the player. Uh, marking matchups aren't great, especially week one rewards, that when they're just not very good rewards. I don't think I've ever packed anything really good from marking matchups, um, so I wasn't expecting anything good there. However, it's a good a few players, especially for tomorrow. We've got a few plays for SBCs potentially for ones to watch. So, if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new on here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.